Hi, my name is James Burton. Welcome to the fifth video in this series where we're looking at comparison operators. As you can see, similar to the last example, we've got two variables. We've got a variable x equal to 2 and we've got a variable y equal to 3. Now what we're going to do is look at um, comparisons. So to see whether x is equal to y, whether x is exactly equal, meaning that the value and type is the same, whether it's not equal to or not exactly equal to, whether it's greater than, whether it's less than, whether it's greater than or equal to, or whether it's less than or equal to. So we can see here that as per the last example, we've got both string concatenation. So we're asking the question here, and then we're putting the value of a functional operation in this example here. So we've got, is x equal equal to y? We're asking the question, it's a string. Then we're going to add the value or the return type value of this operation, which we can see here. So what this is doing is saying, is x equal to y? I is the value of x the same as y, and it returns a value. In this case, it's Boolean true or false. So if we were looking at this particular example here, if we actually ran this, we would ask the question, is x the same as y or equal to y in value? Well, the answer is no, because x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. But if, for instance, we said that x and y are both equal, the same, then we can see that we change our value. In this case, both x and y are the same. In the exactly equal to, what this one is looking at is not just value, but also type. So we can also determine whether the type is the same. So say, for example, we have x is equal to 2 but we actually have in here a different type, i.e. a string value, then if we ask this question, it's now false, because even though the value is the same, i.e. x is equal to 2, the actual typecast itself is false, meaning that the, um, the type is a string rather than a number. But you'll notice that in this example, it is still equating to true. So that can be useful if you want to determine whether the type is exactly the same as well as the value. We can then look at not equals to, where we're actually asking the question, is it not equal? And in this case, the, um, the answer is false because it still thinks that the values are the same. But when we look at the not exactly equal to, i.e. the data types, we can see that that is the case. And then we can look at values for which is greater than or less than, and then we've got greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So we can do various things here. So thank you for looking at this video, um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.